So mobile I add here is plus and tau. So it's a motor detail about seven to ten percent. So it's a his by history. So history the he to exclude the respect trend. So any history of previous car, example of one previous car about eight percent, two previous cars about eleven percent, forty percent and sixty one percent and consequently seven sixty seven percent. If if both of with the placenta previa, other risk factor like advanced maternal age, multiple and history of myopathy during the general examination is unremarkable. So uh, avoid to any uh, general examination or specular examination. So about the ultrasound is a great scale ultrasound, trans abdominal ultrasound. So uh, it's a sensitivity is a, uh, about seventy to eighty percent, and sensitivity is about ninety six to ninety eight percent. So from the picture of placenta creta, there is an irregular placenta lacuna, thinning the myometrium of overlying placenta, increased the vascularity of the uterus, uterine serosa and bladder interface, and tubular flow of uh, blood throughout the lacuna. At the same time, there is a loss of rectal placenta plate uh, and protrusion of the placenta into the bladder. Uh, it can easily detect. It, it can uh, in detected during the 15 to 20 weeks uh, with the signs of increased number of lacuna alright so more uh, is a swish swish his appearance high prediction uh, uh, positive prediction value about 98 percent in view adjunct the modality of the imaging so MRI is a improved the uh, accuracy of diagnosis uh, able to outline the an anatomy of invasions and related of re regional anastomotic uh, anastomos anastomotic vascular systems right uh, right but however the MRI is costly and require the experience and experts in interpretations right so the CTG just to evaluate the fetus surveillance and symptom during and especially during the symptomatic period reading detect any fatal distress. Uh, in the blood investigation, the HB is needed to optimize and resistance status need to identify to evaluate. Alright. Uh, there is issue during the MRI there is issue. Uh, we use the uh, we use the gallodinium contrast. Europeans say it's a uh, safe but the Americans say it's avoid during the pregnancy unless there is a benefit to, uh, and necessary to uh, use. Alright. And then at the same time in management is a impatient management for symptomatic period bleeding and uh, admit at 34 weeks to avoid any uh, interpartum hemorrhage because in the MAP they tend to uh, severe uh, major interpartum hemorrhage okay for the expected management is aimed to deliver about 38 to 39 weeks uh, near term lah supposedly to avoid any preterm complication and then follow up need a uh, if operation management avoid to any sexual intercourse or vigorous activity and then in during the follow up we assess the symptoms and arrange the MRI if necessary uh, if we suspect by the uh, by the ultrasound there is a feature of placenta per creta there is involvement of bladder involvement so at the, this moment we need the MRI to outline the anatomical structure and the anastomosis Right. Uh, this is managed by multidisciplinary approach, which involves is a gynae oncology surgeon, fetal specialist, radio, radio uh, intervention, uh, intervention radiology, and urologist if uh, there is a blood involvement, and neonatologist, and uh, obstetrician anesthesia for pre-op and assess pre-op assessment, and if there is no available of a uh, urologist, maybe we need the general surgeon to. Uh, uh, to gather the input, uh, either plan delivery. If the plan, if the plan delivery, uh, patient should be discussed before the plan delivery, right? And then, uh, delivery place is at the tertiary center, which available all the specialty. Uh, is a uh, is a recommend uh, is a gold standard is a uh, is gold standard is a cesarean hysterectomy. Okay, how we how we how we pre op uh, preparation for. Uh, pre-op preparation. So first, uh, inform consent about the cesarean hysterectomy procedure, and then the severe PPH, blood transfusion, injury to the bladder and bowel hysterectomy. Risk of there is a hysterectomy and risk of post-operative vesicovaginal fistula. Uh, there is a 
in OT there is supposedly we do the OT there is, there is available of fluoroscopy uh, required to large granula make sure and then uh, two functional large granula alright thromboembolism prophylactic during operation because we anticipate there is a prolonged surgery pneumatic uh, compression uh, device alright so at the same time blood product must be ready so pet cell and FFP cryo platelet blood bank must alert uh, this uh, this case so, so kind of recommended in the uh, trauma trauma OT one pet cell equal to one FFP alright uh, NTD uh, IgG4 resistance negative either okay so prophylactic antibiotic is a uh, F, uh, recommended is a is must okay preoperative cystoscopy with the urethral uh, stand uh, to avoid any urethral injury okay prevent any urethral injury okay? so pre-op cystoscopy must done by urologist okay and then bladder catheterization okay uh, make sure there is availability of the drugs for example trimethyl acid and recombinant uh, uh, factor 8 a factor factor 7 novo 7 okay GE or uh, GE or spinal anesthesia are, are safe uh, technically okay uh, pre-op uh, pre-op placenta mapping by surgeon is required uh, and then HDU bed availability must uh, update consider this is dummy the skin incision is a uh, midline mid vertical skin incision vertical skin incision for better and sufficient exposure of the peritoneum so patient in the left lateral left lateral tilted to assess the blood bleeding and then to improve the um, uh, circulation all right at the same time uh, the padding is a prevent nerve compression also because avoid any uh, long term complication like hypothermia nerve compression okay classical uterine incision so involve the is often transfundal incision to avoid placenta and allow delivery of blood infant after delivery infant cut cord near to placenta placenta <coughs> placenta cut eh, cut cord and placenta left inside to so cord to uh, cut near to um, cut near to uh, placenta insertion site alright rapid close uterine insertion is a fast of areas lah insertomy is performed avoid any internal iliac ligation because it takes time and then it's consume time and then need the operator independent if there is a placenta uh, percata it should be the bladder uh, invasion uh, required the partial cystectomy and then a urologist must attend this case okay occasionally this is a subtotal cystectomy is a safe but technically there is a, a cervical uh, vagina bleeding we are uh, afraid interventional radiology procedure uh, like pedocator and occlusion is a umbilical artery uh, embolization uh, in is a there is a Risk, uh, there is a, a risk that may benefit to reduce the blood loss and to improve the surgical outcome but uh, must aware there is a risk of localized hematoma and serious thrombotic and embolic com uh, complication procedure must done in the uh, facility lah. so there is an option uh, if in the patient who who plan uh, preserve her fertility so counsel there's extensively counsel by the all the mdt teams so especially about the hemorrhagics infection and life-saving hysterectomy okay and that and suboptimal outcome right other aims of the surgery is a other aim of the, the, uh, the benefit of the conservative management is a, to avoid risk of PPH and avoid other organ injury and preserve the fertility but there is a uh, sufficient evidence insufficient evidence the same classical utilization delivery factors and funders avoid the placenta delivery accomplished cut cut very close to the placenta uh, placenta uh, insertion site and suture with the absorbable uh, suture you turn close and the placenta leave inside too uh, some study says avoid the pitocin because it can cause the partial separation of an attached portion and retraction of myometrium uh, compression suture and then bakri balloon, balloon tamponade, umbilical artery, uterine at, uh, artery ligation are used as adjunct, uh, adjunct treatment for conservative management. Alright, uh, adjunct, adjunct, other adjunct uh, uh, treatment like methotrexate, 
uh, is a routinely not recommended because it's not convincing the evidence base uh, because uh, methotrexate itself it acts on the uh, cell rapidly divide okay rapidly divide cells and then at the same time uh, placenta atoms already not rapidly divide cell, dividing cell but uh, so uh, it it worse the patient condition like uh, side effect of methotrexate like uh, nephrotoxic nephrotoxicity and pan pancytopenia okay uh, other conservative management is a 3p protocol 3p protocol is involved if a first is a placenta mapping by surgeon second is a removal of placenta uh, sorry devascularization of the uh, pelvic and intervention radiology number three is a removal of placenta part with the myometrum together about 2 cm margin left inside left make sure the left myometrum is healthy no placenta all right after that hemostasis is secure and then uh, myometrium repair by two layer okay uh, okay post operative patient must uh, uh, may uh, uh, if there is uh, any complication patient should be observed in the hdu or icu at uh, icu care also for any epo symptoms because this a uh, vigorous uh, fluid resus during the operation and then uh, if any blood involvement the, we need the urologist input breastfeeding and contraception a breastfeeding is advocated thanks